Hey everybody, it's April Davis PI. It is day 13. Yes, almost two weeks. Wow. Here we are. I'm not really supposed to be in here right now, but here is the evacuation zone. This is what used to be my kitchen. Apparently there's no damage to the kitchen whatsoever, but there is some damage to the wooden floors. That's basically cheap laminate, old and cracked cheap laminate. Part of it in the dining room area where the cat has his food and water bowl, that area has been removed. But the cause of all of this, the root cause, walk by, things are kind of displaced right now. If there's a loud noise here, you'll have to excuse that. It's a humidifier. I'll close this bedroom door a little bit. Try to hit a light. Maybe that'll help, but this is what used to be my bathroom and my bedroom floor. There is a large, loud machine operating humidifier, that's the motor, the fan you're probably hearing. Supposedly, let me, uh, let me get out of this room where it's a little bit more quiet. Like I said, I'm really not supposed to be here. And I did just remove my double mask to be able to film this for you. Let me get away from the machinery. Apparently the toilet has been removed and is sitting in my shower. That's a lovely thought that my toilet is sitting in the bathtub. The vanity is gone, and apparently the back wall between my unit and unit 15 is gone from about the floor to three and a half to four feet high. Don't know if the medicine chest is still there, but I have asked the manager to have it removed since it won't really match the renovation and she has agreed to do that but we will see I have little faith that everything that needs to be done will be done this apparently arrived this morning this is my very tiny brand new vanity yes it's very dark in here but I cannot reach the light due to the remediation but hopefully this sucker is not wider than 18 inches because if it is, it literally will not have room to fit between the toilet and the wall. That is how small the bathroom is. This was delivered, I believe, by FedEx this morning outside the door. And uh, the manager carried it in with one arm this afternoon. That is supposedly it. Now on the box, you will see that, even though it's very dark, I know, but there's no lighting that I can actually turn on from here. The, uh, the vanity shows in the picture some nickel hardware, but apparently that doesn't come with it, nor does the matching mirror. So I have asked that the hardware be ordered, obviously, and that maybe they can take away the old 1960s style cheap five dollar medicine chest they can pull that out of the wall put some drywall up paint over it and actually put a legit mirror in the very small bathroom the bathroom is slightly larger than a telephone booth and it is the width of a very short bathtub. Uh, just to get an idea, I am five seven and a half, and me sitting in the tub, not lying in the tub, but sitting in the tub, my feet do not completely fit. So take a five foot seven and a half inch person and sit them down from the waist down basically and there's not enough room for my legs and my feet 
to comfortably, comfortably fit in that tub. So that bathroom is extremely, extremely narrow. There's no depth. Apparently, there's no mold remediation to the ceiling in the bathroom, which is quite shocking since the upstairs unit number 18 has flooded at least, at least three times, two of which were severe, and water came pouring out of the ceiling. So I'm very shocked that the remediation crew yesterday uh, mentioned to me that the ceiling or the wall with the towel rack or the wall containing the bathtub was not torn down. In fact, the wall between the bedroom and the bathroom that is just behind this door with the shoe rack, uh, that wall is still in existence too. And that is the wall where the mushroom sprouted. Apparently the mold remediation guys were not worried about that wall. Um, maybe they should have been because after this humidifier runs for 48 hours, then another company who tests for the mold will come back. If it doesn't pass the test, then sadly this is only going to drag out longer. Uh, another possible issue here is that this very old wood laminate floor, which is complete trash, it is damaged in the dining room unrelated to the recent evacuation and it is also damaged in the bedroom due to the leak in the wall from unit number 15. They do not believe that they have any more wood floors in their tool shop. They have a little tool shop in the back of our building. It's a little workshop for the maintenance crew for 20 buildings and they do not believe that anywhere do they have this floor and they are worried about how are they going to match uh, the new floor with the old floor. And that could be a major problem because if they can't find the right materials to match, then potentially this could drag on even longer because they might have to completely empty the entire apartment except for the kitchen and redo the entire floors. I hope it doesn't come to that. I told them I would be willing to move in before the floors are repaired as long as they cover it up so the bunny doesn't dig a hole. He is very aware that there is damage to this floor before we evacuated. He was already starting to pick at the floor knowing that it was bubbling up trying to show me that there was problems. I don't want him digging through a moldy floor. But supposedly the mold part has been removed. It's just a matter of the management finding the correct floor to match the existing floor. But you know that's I'm kind of jumping ahead here. None of that's going to happen until the mold company can test, retest, wait several days for results, get a negative test at which time the management will be uh, sending the maintenance crew in here to put the walls back together, to put the vanity in, to put the bathroom hardware in, put a new seal on the toilet, get the toilet out of my bathtub, uh, at least at that point, then the lighting that is broken in the bathroom, they may also replace that. They are not taking blame for that, but you know, that all went out around the time that disaster struck. So I do not know if it's unrelated or just coincidental. As a PI, I don't really believe in coincidences. And that bulb alone is $22. And speaking of that, this has been a very expensive endeavor because I've not really been allowed inside. And every day it seems I've been running to the store to buy stuff for upstairs just to survive. We are still existing on the floor at day number 13, but uh, at least the mold has been tested, the leak has been fixed in number 15, and the remediation crew, they have done their removal of 
the bathroom, and part of the kitchen floor. Now we just wait for these humidifiers to run another day. Hopefully they're going to remove them tomorrow, remove the plastic, and then we go from there. It's been a long process, folks. I'm very, very overtired, exhausted, and stressed just thinking about this. Poor Alfie, he's crying every day. I really need to get him home as soon as possible. But that's it for now. If you like this video, please uh, hit the thumbs up button. Please comment as it helps the algorithm. Feel free to share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. That's all for now. Bye-bye.